Here we have a pendulum swinging back and forth. The object is let go from point A. Point B is at the lowest point. The vertical height from which the object was released was 0.25 meters. Point B is set the zero level. An object at rest is let go from point A. Vertical height is 0.25 meters. What is the speed of the object at B? Ignore frictional and rotational energies. Welcome to hdtvedu.com, direct and simple education in seconds. Total mechanical energy at A, where we let go of the object, equals total mechanical energy at point B. What do we have at point A? It's all potential. What do we have at point B? All due to motion. So set the two equal and then solve for the speed. Energy due to motion at point A plus energy due to position at point A equals energy due to motion at point B plus energy due to position at point B. What is the energy due to motion at point A? Zero. Starting speed is zero. You are letting it go from rest. Energy due to position at point A is mgh, where h is the height from the zero level, where h is 0 0.25 meters. Energy due to motion at point B, 1 half mv squared. Energy due to position at point B, zero. So you have energy due to motion at point A, zero. Speed is zero. Square of zero is zero. Zero times anything is zero. Energy due to position at point A is mgh, where m is the mass in kg. g is the acceleration due to gravity in meters per second per second. And h is the height from the zero level. It is 0 0.25 meters. So total mechanical energy will be the sum of energy due to motion and energy due to position at point A. So we get 0 plus m times 9.8 times 0.25. We get this. Let's look at point B. Energy due to motion is 1 half mv squared. Definitely at point B it is moving. Energy due to position at point B, because point B is at zero height from the zero level, energy due to position at point B will be zero. So what is the sum? And total mechanical energy at point B will be 1 half mv squared plus zero. You get 1 half mv squared. Set the two to be equal to each other. 1 half mv squared is what we have at point B. m times 9.8 times 0.25 is what we have at point A. Set the two equal to each other. Total mechanical energy at A equals total mechanical energy at B implies mgh is equal to 1 half mv squared. Cancel mass. Cancel mass. So you get gh is equal to v squared over 2. Multiply by 2 both sides to get rid of the fraction. And we get 2gh is equal to v squared. Take square root and v is equal to square root of 2gh. We know g is 9.8 meters per second per second and h is 0 0.25 meters. Substitute those numbers and we get speed is equal to 2.21 meters per second. So if we have a pendulum that is swinging back and forth and if we let go of the bob at 0.25 meters, at the bottom, we will have a speed of 2.21 meters per second. So this is how far we can go. But if you want to take it to the next level, when an object is moving in a circular path, there is always a net force towards the center. At the very bottom, what do we have? We have tension towards the center and we have gravitational force away from the center. Net force is towards the center, so tension has to be greater than gravitational force. So you see T minus mg, net force is equal to mv squared over r. Because the object is moving in circular motion, you get mv squared over r. We know the radius is 0 0.25. We know the speed is 2.21 meters per second. We know g, and if we are given the mass, we can find the tension. And the tension will be then, T will be equal to mg plus mv squared over r. All right, that is taking it to the next level. George Matthew signing off. Good luck.